we are on that million dollar highway on our way to Silverton and we make a little stop in this cold bank pass and check this out Yeah, no kidding. And it's amazing to believe today is August the 2nd and there's still snow on the top of the hills. So this is called Molus Pass and it's about halfway uh, in between Durango and Silverton. And as you can see, it is packed with more bikers, more people, riders. What do we got guys? Hello. See more fellow riders right here, having fun as we are. After some uh, about 90 amazing miles with breathtaking views, awesome turns, and a little bit of traffic, <laughs> we made it to this beautiful little town called Silverton. It's just so cool. Look at how the houses are. And it's like three blocks away, I mean, three blocks of the whole town. He said, well, I don't see an order. And I said, ah, it's just because Lots of tourists, lots of people. Lots of bikers. So, we were just cold. All right, let's go pick a table. I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised. You know, I always thought avalanches were dangerous and everything. You see that people die every year. But looking at this, see those chunks of trees? Oh, entire trees? Just thrown away, thrown around like nothing. I'm impressed about avalanches. And I'm sitting on top of one right now. And it just happened last week. That's what you see. Look, see, everything is mixed with the snow, which now is just ice, basically. That's pretty crazy. That's Colorado. We're just having fun. Yeah, yeah, day three. Look at that beautiful place that we got here near Montrose. That's Adam, the bikes are ready. Look at the house, pretty good property. So we're here pretty close to Montrose, Colorado. And right now, on our third day of riding, we're gonna go up to Oray and start the mountain passes. So, excited? Let's do it. Right. We're on our way. Hell yeah, Colorado, I love it.
bottom point, right in front of the storm, maybe a 10,000 feet over sea level. I don't know if that's true, but that's what my loans are saying. How do you like it? I love it. It's a really crazy ride we just had we went over the alpine loop somehow connected to somewhere else that got us lost and we end up riding engineer pass which is one of one of the coolest pass, passes that they're open right now so after geez it took us like four hours uh, met a couple guys in there and uh, we end up in this little town very cool town. Uh, check it out. So this is like downtown. See the buildings. The flying pig is right there. I don't know what that is, but I'm uh, gonna go check it out. Colorado day four we made it look at this weather you see the sky is open few clouds temperatures perfect bikes are all loaded and ready to go and Adam is going crazy about his key and your key is in the bike last day in Colorado so today we're going to take off, take our way south and uh, end up in Alpine, Arizona sometime at night. We have about, I don't know, almost 400 miles to go. And the thing is that I was checking the forecast, like I was talking about the weather. So I, I was checking the forecast and there's a big storm moving into the valley around noon. So... The app says 80% chance of thunderstorms and thunderstorms and motorcycles don't go too well together. But uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll have to stop and get some refugees somewhere or just ride the rain. We'll see how it goes. Pinkerton Hot Spring, which is pretty awesome. Look! Oh wow! Looking so all around. It's really hot. Yeah. Wow. So they have a bathtub too. And that's really slippery.
at 75. Today we have completed the fifth day of traveling. We we have been to such amazing places. Colorado, it's great. It reminds me a lot, to really a lot, a lot of the Andes, like the central part of Ecuador. Uh, beautiful mountains, beautiful views. Uh, crazy to think that they still have snow in the middle of the summer up in the peaks. Today is the fifth day of riding and the day that we're going back to Phoenix. We got into this ear, uh, Airbnb house which is by far the coolest one of all of the ones that we have been in. Um, the starting by that we have our own parking lot, our own picnic table and the room is totally separate from the house and the lady owner of the house she's the best the best so I'll make another video to show you guys around the house but this is amazing but here we are eager Arizona 5 30 in the morning we're getting ready for the last adventure going back home <laughs> 